hi everyone welcome back again to my youtube channel in today's tutorial we are going to be learning how to make this beautiful shift dress with side pocket okay so if this sounds like something interested to thank you for watching and let's get started welcome back guys so ensure your fabric is on a fold once it's on a fold place your tape from that point then come down by your boss point this is for my client her boss point is 10 inch her under bust is 13 and her waistline is 15. From the waistline, I came down by 8 inch. Okay, this is for the hip line. After marking, I'll use my straight ruler to connect this point. Okay, I'll just connect a straight line. So after I was done with that, I'm going to take the length of this gown. So the length of this gown is 39 inch, okay, including the other ones. So after that, I'll use my straight ruler to make a straight line, okay. So I'm also going to trim out the excess. So once I'm through with that, next thing I want to do is to take her shoulder circumference divided by 2 plus half any stitching allowance. After marking, I will come down by 7.5 inch, which will serve as her armhole depth. okay? I also mark half of her shoulder circumference on that spot plus half any stitching allowance. Then I'll connect the straight line, alright? So once I'm through with that, I'm going to place my tape. Then I will come down by half an inch for shoulder slope. This is because I'm cutting directly on the fabric. Once I'm through with that, I'll mark the midpoint I have there, then come inside by half an inch. I'll also mark quarter of her bust circumference on the armhole, okay? Then I'm going to connect the three dots this way, just to give me an armhole curve. Once I'm through with that, I mark three inch for her neck width, then also connect the shoulder slope to the neck width, okay? And I'm also going to come down by four inch, okay, for her front neck depth so you're going to determine whether you want three inch or four inch for your front neck depth so for her own i mark like four inch so i just connect a round neckline a round neck off like that so once i'm through with that the next thing i want to do now is to include her basic measurement so i'm going to mark quarter of her bust circumference plus one inch for allowance and one inch for ease i'm also going to mark quarter of her waist circumference plus one inch allowance and one inch for ease okay so then on the hip line i'll mark quarter of her hip circumference one inch for allowance and also one inch for ease once i'm through with that i'll connect from the waistline to the hip then also connect from the waistline to the bust line okay so once i'm through with that i'm going to um take the measurement i have here in total it was 12 inch i'm going to include it on this end after marking i'll go ahead and connect this way let me see so after connecting guys this was what i had all right so the next thing i want to do is to cut it out so after cutting i'll cut the back piece okay so for the back piece i'm going to fold another fabric make sure it's on a fold then place the front piece this way ensure you leave one inch for zip allowance okay so she wants it free and she also needs zipper at the back okay so what i did was to extend the front waistline to the back piece once i'm through with that i'm going to mark like half an inch so once i'm through with that i'm going to connect from that side to this other end using the same half an inch repeat the same thing on this other side and stop somewhere around the neckline okay so this is to avoid any form of zipper board at the back of our dress after that trim out the side and the shoulder okay and also come down by two inch for the back neck depth go ahead and cut it out okay just trim it out like this and also trim out the zip allowance side okay remove your zipper board so once i'm through with that this is what i have okay the next thing i want to do now is to mark where i'm going to be attaching the pocket okay so from the waistline come down by 1.5 inch then notch after notching you're also going to mark where your pocket would stop okay so from that notched part you're going to stop that you're going to stop at seven inch also notch that side as well okay notch the back and front piece so once i'm through with that next thing i want to do is to cut the sleeve okay so for the sleeve make sure your fabric is on a fold let's say i have like two pieces here and for the length is nine and a half inch including the other ones on that upper part i marked eight inch and on the side i marked half of her round sleeve circumference plus 1.5 inch allowance i also came down by 3.5 inch for cap height from there i connected to this other side and i'm also going to make my curl from there 
to this other side okay so go ahead and cover it this way once you're through with that cut it out okay after cutting you're also going to notch the midpoint of the bow sleeve then also come up here by one inch then give a notch okay so that is where you're going to be folding the sleeve okay you use one inch to fold it all right so after that i'm going to cut the pocket so i just made a straight line here to give me a straight pocket so on the upper part i marked eight inch okay that includes the allowance and for the pocket length i said to come down by 8.5 inch including the allowance as well so i have eight inch on this upper part i also repeat the same eight inch here so this is the wideness of the pocket okay i'll just go ahead and cut it out after cutting i also cut the second pocket all right so i'll just go ahead and cut the boot pocket this way so once i'm through with that i also um slash it then fold it into two and make a little curve go ahead and trim out the curve just this way after cutting guys this was what i had can you see and i have a curved pocket and i have like four pieces here can you see so the next thing you want to do now is to cut the facing for the back piece ensure your fabric is on a fold like this then also go ahead and sketch it out sketch the neckline and the shoulder part okay and for the facing length come down by three inch go ahead and connect it this way after that cut it out okay so this is for the back facing i'm also going to slash the center of this facing by two all right so the next thing i want to do now is to cut the front facing so this is the front facing go ahead and also sketch it out this way after that come down by three inch for the length go ahead and connect it this way and cut it out it's same as the back facing all right so this is what i have after it's done can you see the next thing i want to do now is to start my sewing so first you are going to fold it into two please ensure you fold from the right side of your front piece not the wrong side fold from the right side of your front piece okay so once it relaxes this way go ahead and mark the center front okay you're going to mark from the neckline to the hem part just like this once you're through with that open it so the reason i made this mark is just to guide me when sewing this okay you need to sew it exactly at the front like at the center front we don't have light that's why so if you have light no need marking just fold and iron it out the line from the iron will guide you through okay so once you're through with that like you're going to sew the both sides from there to the end then after sewing you attach your facing place it right side facing each other go ahead and sew then also notch the neckline and fold the hem part of your facing repeat the same thing for the back piece just go ahead and so you're facing for the back piece and also not so guys once i'm through with that this was what i had here can you see so this black trims here is called a suede bias okay so this is how the back looks like okay so i'm going to place my hemming gum and iron it out i will do that once they bring light so this is the back piece i'm also going to repeat the same thing on the back facing okay so the next thing i want to do now is to place both the front and back piece right side facing each other so i want to join the shoulder okay so this is how i usually join my shoulder i'll just place one of the shoulder then use one of the facing to cover it up and i'll stitch with half an inch also repeat the same thing on this other side so after sewing guys this was what i had here for the shoulder you can see what i have okay so the next thing i want to do now is attach the pocket remember i have four pieces for the pocket and i already gave already gave a notch on both sides so i will place the four pockets right side facing each other okay i'll place two on the front piece then i'll place the other two on the back piece okay so i'll just go ahead and place this way go ahead and stitch with half of an inch okay half of an inch so i'll just do that i've gone ahead to stitch guys i stitch with half of an inch so this is the sleeve i've already um fold the sleeve like the hem part of the sleeve i've already fold with one inch okay using the notch i made so i'm going to place the sleeve on the shoulder right side facing each other go ahead and stitch with half of an inch i repeat the same thing on the other side okay i've gone ahead to attach the sleeve you can see how it looks like the next thing i want to do now is to work on the back piece so from the back you're going to come down by 
17 in this is free dress if it's very tight on you you can come down by like even 19 inch okay so because it's free dress i came down by 17 inch and i also marked one inch i'm going to sew that one inch then i'll fix this black zip on the opening i had left so guys after attaching the zip this was what i had okay so the next thing i want to do now is to shape the dress so take your round sleeve circumference half of it then also come down by arm holded go ahead and connect so from there to the pocket okay from there to the other end and also fold the hem part of your gown okay go ahead and fold this way all right so guys after sewing this was what i had i've gone ahead to shape the both side of the dress and i'm going to turn it outside right so you see how it looks like okay so this is how it looks like guys the next thing i want to do now is to iron after ironing i'll give it to my client i forgot to take a picture of her at the time she wore this dress so guys there is something else i need to explain here so if you look at this picture and picture we're working with you would notice it has patch okay it has patches like three patch on the front side can you see and i did not include that patch on the dress i just made because it already has patches on its own like it has a full comb patch okay you can rewatch the video to understand what i'm saying so if you're working with material like this like this one she's putting on here on the screen you can add patches on yours you can just look for fabric that has a whole lot of patches then go ahead and cut it out is either by scissors or something very smooth like something that might or would smoothen the edges okay just go ahead and cut it out and you know attach it like you sew all round you just place it three now so you go ahead and place on both sides place on the other side and so okay so guys we have come to the end of today's tutorial thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like comment share subscribe bye